Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Santa Burke from BangTheBook.com coming to you with a look at Game 717-718 in college basketball on Wednesday night. The Cincinnati Bearcats take on the Ohio State Buckeyes. Ohio State, a seven-point favorite out there, total of 141. Over at BangTheBook.com, we got a lot of good college basketball stuff for you with some conference previews to get ready for the regular season here. We've also got daily previews, picks, and analysis and also some college basketball situational betting tips, which I'll talk about here a little bit later on in the video. We also have our regular college football and NFL content, daily NHL and NBA stuff as well, NASCAR, golf, soccer, tennis, uh, MMA, you name it, we got it over at bangthebook.com. Make sure you're checking out all of the videos here on our Bang the Book YouTube page, and also checking out Bang the Book Radio every Monday through Friday. Some of the smartest guests and some of the hardest workers in the industry sharing their insights and analysis with our listeners. All right, game 717-718 here, Cincinnati and Ohio State. Recording this on Tuesday afternoon. Wanted to change it up a little bit, get a college basketball game out there for you. The only book out there that's posted so far has gone up from Ohio State, minus 4.5 to minus 7. Uh, hopefully that's where the number winds up settling in the rest of the market. Uh, but we'll see what happens here because you've got a new-look Cincinnati team with former Northern Kentucky head coach John Brannon. Now, Brannon doesn't have to go far. It's not a long trip at all from Northern Kentucky to the University of Cincinnati. But this will be a different-looking Bearcats team this year. When you look at what's going on with this team, last year, Cincinnati, 334th in the country in tempo, according to Bart Torbeck, under Mick Cronin. Cronin goes out west to UCLA. Now they bring in Brannon whose Northern Kentucky team was 152nd in the country in tempo. So a little bit better than the national average with 353 teams. So you do have a Cincinnati team that's going to be moving a little bit quicker here this season. You want to make sure that you're adjusting your numbers accordingly. And with a total here in the 140 range, it certainly looks like the odds makers have made that adjustment as well. Because last year, this was a 64-56 to 56 game at Fifth Third Arena, Ohio State came away with a win in that one. Held Cincinnati to .893 points per possession. Had 1.021 points per possession themselves. But that was a very, very slow game. Played at 63 possessions. I would expect this game played more in the 69 to 70 possession range. Even though Ohio State's not exactly a fast team, the early part of the season, typically very exciting for these teams. And with Cincinnati getting to run a little bit more, I think that could have an impact on the total, maybe not necessarily for this game, but some of the totals for their upcoming games. Now you look at Ohio State, Chris Holtman has done a brilliant job in his two years in Columbus, and this is the most talented team that he's had. Ohio State with one of the best 2020 classes in the Big Ten Conference, and of course some of the holdovers, guys like Caleb Wesson, uh, now a year bigger, a year stronger, a year you know, more experienced in terms of what Holtman actually wants to do with this team. And even with that, Ohio State 42-24 and 24 on Holtman's watch here so far. They've made the NCAA tournament each of the last two years. They definitely should make the tournament here this year as long as everybody stays healthy. Ohio State was terrific defensively last year. Will the offense catch up a little bit this season? That's what we'll have to wait and find out. But again, great freshman class with guys like DJ Carton, EJ Liddell, Alonzo Gaffney, and again, pairing them with Wesson and some of the other holdovers, Ohio State looks very, very dangerous here to start the college basketball season. Cincinnati still has its best player, Jaron Cumberland. He's back for his senior season, and he really improved as a jump shooter last year. I think that could be a very important thing for this Cincinnati team because when you look at Brandon's teams, very efficient offensively from two-point range. Northern Kentucky wasn't one of the greatest teams shooting threes, but they were very good. Top 25 the last two seasons in two-point percentage inside the arc. Very, very good in terms of effective field goal percentage on offense. So Northern Kentucky was a very efficient type of team. I don't know if we'll see that here from Cincinnati in this game, though, because Ohio State top 30 last year in adjusted defensive efficiency, according to Torvik. 75th at defending the three, 75th at defending the two, and obviously played in a very strong conference there in the Big Ten. So as far as this game on Wednesday night goes, I have to look at Ohio State. Again, this line was in the minus seven range when I started recording the video, probably in that six and a half to seven and a half range still as you're getting a chance to watch this. But for Ohio State, less turnover, 
more certainty, the same head coach at Holtman, and the same head coach at Holtman that has really maximized the in-house talent, now brought in a great group of freshmen that should definitely help the Buckeyes as they go forward here. The one question you do wonder about for Ohio State is how the offense will do without C.J. Jackson. He was their point guard, their leading assist man. Can the Buckeyes find somebody to run this offense? I guess we'll kind of wait and see with that. But Holtman, a tremendous head coach, very, very good. I would certainly expect him to have all of his ducks in a row here for Ohio State's opening game. I think Cincinnati will be very strong this year. I think Brandon will be a good hire. They probably won't be as good defensively as they were under Cronin, but should be a little bit better offensively. So I would lean a little bit to the over 141, but the stronger play here is Ohio State minus the points at home, simply because we've got a much better idea of what we're going to get from the Buckeyes. That's very important here early in the season. You get a lot of these intriguing non-conference games. You get little brother versus big brother types of matchups. You want to look for what you feel like you can trust, returning starters, uh, head coaches that are there for a second or a third year that should be continuing to improve the program. That's what we've got here with Ohio State. Not necessarily a little brother, big brother game, but just simply that Ohio State should have more continuity, should be more consistent here in this game against Cincinnati, who I think will be very good as the season goes along. I'm Adam Burke for bangthebook.com.